Okay, so uh, like I said, like I promised you, I was going to do a uh, full-out review of this Lenovo ThinkPad T61. Sorry about that, my camera was almost out of batteries. Um, so, as you can see, it is an Energy Star appliance. Oh, I'll call them back later. You can see, there's the uh, fan vent. VGA, or 15 pin D sub, as a lot of people like to call it. Telephone modem, Ethernet, two USB 2.0 slots, PCMCIA, although I believe one of those is not a PCMCIA. I don't know. And uh, this is the difficult part because I've got a big, huge battery sitting at the bottom of this thing. Like you saw earlier, there's the uh, wireless switch. 1394 Firewire port, headphone, and microphone. And on this side, to do this very carefully so I don't shock the hard drive, because I don't want to do that. We have the DVD drive and another USB drive. Now, this about this here. This is a hot swap device. You can see there, you can simply pull that out and work with that, but I won't, because I don't need to, and it will be incredibly dangerous to do it with one hand. As you can see, serviceable used part. I did get this refurbished for, I believe, $200. $200. I didn't pay a thing for it, so it is free. And, oh, good idea to plug it back in, wouldn't it be? Right. As it turns out, that was my mother. But uh, anyways, so you can see T61, focus please. I'm going to have to change the focus just a second. Okay, so it's deciding it's not going to focus, but anyway. So as you can see, it's got a Intel Centrino Pro. It's a 1.8 gigahertz. It can run Vista Basic, but, you know, this has XP Professional on it. It's got a gigabyte of RAM, and a 100 some odd gigabyte hard drive, and a fingerprint scanner. I despise these things, but yet I'm still using it. See, ThinkPad T Series? With the uh, Think Vantage button. So uh, I'll start it up before I bore you. Because I wanted to go into BIOS, but I'll do that when I reboot the system. See, Windows XP. And I'm going to totally laugh when this thing crashes. Well, it didn't. You see... Please scan your finger. Yeah, no junk. No? That is what I just did. Thank you. Oh, that's why my sound's not on the way. I really have to empty the recycle bin. And I don't remember. Oh, yeah, yeah, I do. I'll deal with that later. I really need to make another system backup. So you can see it's now connected to my button. Oh, I'm gonna have to censor that out. Because that's my Never mind. 
So, um, Windows XP Professional, Service Pack 3, 1.8 gigahertz with about a gigabyte of RAM with the physical address extension turned on. Uh, let's see. So as for device manager, ooh, I've got updates. It is not finding my whatever the SM bus controller is and whatever that unknown device is. It's not finding those, but I guess it really doesn't matter since I the machine runs perfectly fine, so it doesn't really do anything. So, um, yes, and that's it for all the programs that I have installed here. I have Virtual PC. Yes, I realize I've got Avist installed. I've really got to get rid of that. Tried installing AVG on here, but that didn't go too well. In fact, it wouldn't even install. But I've got enough programs on here that it'll keep me entertained for a lifetime. So uh, now we'll restart it and go into the BIOS. No, we will not install any updates. And updates probably the one that crashed the computer in the first place. So to interrupt the startup on these machines, you have to press the Think Vantage button. when that screen appears and it'll take you to an alternate boot F1 so here is your BIOS oh it's got its SATA on it I still don't see how I can. So there you go. That's just about it for this machine. Thank you for watching. Hope you enjoyed the video. See you next time. Till then.